Hi everyone, you're joining me on campus here at St. Jerome's University for the opening school liturgy. And you're joining me with Father Khan O'Mahony and Martha Photo. Father Khan is presiding at the liturgy and Martha is the leader of campus ministry here. So thank you for joining me. Um, and I'd just like to ask you, uh, what are some of the things that you're looking forward to uh, for this school year? <laughs> Yeah, well, we have a great start to the year. We've had great orientation week. We have over 30 student leaders here at St. Jerome's that are working collaboratively together, including the peer ministers and the student um, liturgical coordinator for campus ministry. In campus ministry, we're looking forward to a great year of lots with lots of enthusiasm, great activities, uh, liturgies, prayer times, uh, just a lot to help support students as they answer a lot of the questions that come to them during their first years at university and as they explore their own faith. But our biggest focus is creating a student-focused campus ministry, working um, with the neighboring parishes and all of that uh, to try to create that. and. I'm uh, just looking forward to lots of fun and keeping it really energized for the students. Awesome. They take the lead. Yeah. And, and speaking of neighboring parishes, I understand, Father Khan, you're from St. Michael's Parish, mm -hmm. just nearby. Um, can you talk about some of the things you're looking forward to this semester and working with the students here at St. Jerome's? Uh, one of the big things for um, for a parish is to be involved in the university because it's the next generation of um, of the church, and it, during the era of evangelization, especially to be able to uh, encourage the students to explore their faith. I, I know Mark has a lot of programs that uh, will be good, taking place here on the campus at uh, St. Jerome's, but there's also an outreach to the other universities in the community as well. Waterloo uh, has two very large universities and um, a number of colleges. Uh, we have an international uh, collection of students from all over the world. For the last number of weeks in the parishes, uh, we've greeted students from China, from um, many Southeast Asian countries, South America, as well as many, many different parts of Canada. So being available for students and encouraging them to participate in the activities is very important. Well, I'm so excited to be part of this liturgy this morning, to be in attendance, and to working with both of you as you know the semester unfolds. Good. Um, did you guys, just one last question, did you guys both uh, plan for this kind of weather? Because it's just beautiful. Oh, I knew God would give us good weather. <laughs> <laughs> I had no doubt. <laughs> You're joining me with the Dons here on the campus of St. Jerome's University as they get ready for the Mass. And so if you just, you just want to introduce yourselves, um, your names are? I'm Christina, this is Tatiana, Jessica, Jess, and John, and we're resident Dons here at St. Jerome's. Is there anything that you're uh, doing for this Mass here? Are you getting involved in that? Or? Yeah. Uh, I bring up candles. Uh, I think a few of us are bringing things to the front. Mm -hmm. We're very excited to participate in the faith community at St. Jerome's. Mm -hmm. Yeah, just to get to know more people in the community. Yeah, it's a good way to do it because all our residents' uh, families and stuff will be here, so we'll get to meet some of them today, so it's really exciting. Awesome. Anything that's really challenging that uh, you've needed to pray a lot about as, uh, as the school year unfolds? Oh Jesus, but a week. <laughs> <laughs> I think the transition is really hard for anyone, so it's just really nice to be part of a community that's very supportive and wants everybody to do well and also have fun in a new environment. Mm -hmm. It's really a tight community. We all get to know each other and we, we have lots of events together and stuff. You're joining me with the president of St. Jerome's University as of this year, um, Catherine Bergman, or Dr. Catherine Bergman, do you prefer? Catherine is fine. Catherine is fine, okay. Yeah. How's your introduction going? It's been great. Um, today, as you can tell, there is a celebration going on. We're celebrating new beginnings. Mm -hmm. We're celebrating the start of the academic year and welcoming our first year students. It's wonderful to have the students back on campus. The summer gets a little quiet, which is nice, but it's always fun to have the students return to campus with the energy that they bring and the uh, sense of excitement that comes with any new beginning. Mm -hmm. Now I've heard from other people that, that you bring uh, a lot of energy, you know, from where you're from too. Uh, you've done great work, I believe it's in Regina? Uh, yes, yeah, so I, well, I was the, grew up in Ontario in the Kitchener-Waterloo area. I'm a grad from the U of W, but my employment took me out to Regina, Saskatchewan where I was the Dean of Science at the University of Regina. Cool. Uh, can you think of one thing that kind of stands out for you uh, so far as you've been introduced to the campus that you know made you think, hey, you know what, I'm really looking forward to this. The amount of change and the energy, but yet grounded in memories that I still have when I was a student. 
so I walk over to the science building. I'm a scientist by training. And when I walk into the old parts of the building, it's like a step into the past. And yet, it's like walking from the past into the future and all of the promise that that brings. It's very exciting. There's a lot of change and a lot of interesting and exciting things going on on the campus. Wow. Well, let's hope uh, there's, there's lots of great memories to be made as uh, you continue to uh, make a great impression on people here and bring a lot of life and your gifts to this community. So thank you very much for doing this interview, Catherine. No problem. Okay. Thank you. Okay.